Hello everybody, this is Scott Stewart, Slabtown Customs out of Mountain View, Arkansas. Today's tour is going to be of one of our tiny house builds, recent builds. This is the Orion house. This is a road legal 8x30, 13 foot 6 inches tall. We've got a rustic pine lap siding that we burned and clear coated, trimmed in rusty barn metal. On the front here you can see an on-demand propane water heater, a couple of propane tanks. Uh, we're built permanently on a three axle bumper hitch trailer. <clears throat> go in and get out of the wind and give you a little tour here again this is the Orion house and uh, this house is rustic inside and out start with uh, we've got a mix of our pine tongue and groove some old barn metal and some uh, barn wood as well as some cedar uh, we've got a letter here for the last name of the owners and that actually that letters color covering the electric panel uh, there's the interior portion of the mini split heat and air system that we're putting on most of these houses. In the middle section here where we have no lofts, we've got three windows let in a lot of light. Uh, back down here and show you we've got a ceiling fan light kit. We've got a mix of pine tongue and groove and, and uh, barn metal on the ceiling. Uh, we'll start out here in the kitchen. We've got oak base cabinets. Uh, we've got solid wood countertops. We've got full size appliances in here start with here at the end run we've got a washer dryer combo unit uh, we've got a full-size oak pantry next to that we've got a 30 inch wide door and drawer base cabinet again solid wood countertops we've got open shelving here solid wood as requested by the by the owner uh, the ceiling in here we're trimmed in rope and again we've got our barn metal with some pine tongue and groove on this other side here, you can see two long runs of the shelves. Again, solid wood. We've got a two foot wide door and drawer base cabinet. This here at the end is a little built in seating area that does have storage underneath. Does not have the cushions on it yet. Um, going up, we've got a full size 30 inch wide gas stainless steel range. We've got a standard two, or excuse me, double basin stainless steel sink. We've got a full size 24 inch wide stainless steel dishwasher. Uh, does still have the film on it, needs to be peeled off for the stainless. Got a, a three foot by three foot window in, uh, in the end there by the sink. We've also got another 3030 window over here on this side of the kitchen area. Uh, we've got a little, our barn metal, of course, carries over in other places, and we've got it here at the end of this pantry. We'll come on down. We've got a, a hardwood laminate flooring. In the lower level and we've got a little different colorings in the lofts um, our loft access i'll show you the kids loft to start with we've got cedar treads with old barn lumber for the the sides and we've got some white cedar peeled post and up here you've probably seen in some of our other videos we use some harry potter broom handles as some railing and we've got those in this unit as well but uh, we'll go up here real quick give you a shot of this loft Again, this is the kids' loft. We've got a different color and hardwood laminate up here. Both lofts, we've got a mix of wood walls. We've got different, different colored wood, different thicknesses for rustic feel. We've got a pine tongue and groove ceiling. We've got an LED can light in here. Puts out a lot of light. Uh, this window, uh, there's two lofts in this window. I'm sorry, there's two windows in this loft. Both sliders, uh, one's trimmed in green. That whole end wall is trimmed in green. This is a uh, little boy's favorite color. We had this mixed up as chalkboard paint so he can write on that wall. Again, there you can see a mix of the, of the wood. Uh, there's the lighted letter for his initial. And there you can see a little wall heater in this loft and the other loft has one as well. And uh, there I can see an outlet that didn't get a cover put on it that we need to do. I'll just go ahead and mention that now. Save somebody the trouble from putting it in the comments. A little later on uh, over here on this side above the door we've got a window up there as well again a lot of light coming in here um, the other loft the adult loft so to speak is same size as the other both lofts are 10 feet by a full eight foot width again we've got our cedar stair treads this loft has got some privacy as you can see there most of it's walled off and the other side of that is some shelving uh, I'll give you a quick shot up here. It's it's basically the same without the green end wall. Again, our hardwood laminate. We've got an LED light, can light there. The same wall coverings. There's another heater and 
give you a little shot there of some of the shelving maybe you can see. So we'll back on down here and under the steps we've got a little doggy kennel. I've got a little dog and we've got him set up with a little jail cell type door <laughs> and there's a bed and a couple of bowls mounted on the wall for him. Um, over here in the corner we've got some bookshelves, full 12 inch deep bookshelves and show you here the bathroom in just a second we've got a, a sliding door to access the bathroom bathroom the rustic follows through we've got a water trough type bathtub and that does have a shower as well we've got corrugated metal and rope trim in that area uh, we've got some shelves here in the middle quite a bit of storage got a little bit of log siding going on in here little uh, vanity light inset medicine cabinet with a mirror the two foot wide vanity got a composting toilet again we've got our we've got a mix of the the barn metal and log siding in here and little hidden feature in this particular house these shelves actually slide over and we've got what will be a, an office space for this particular customer so this is a little hidden room. We've got log siding over here. We've got another access into the adult loft with this ladder. We've got a couple of lights on each side. Put out a lot of light. We've got a 3030 window back here. We've got a little cedar log wall covering, kind of unique. And just a small little desk area. Perfect for a laptop and adding machine. We've got some more of our oak corner shelves here as well. And Come on around, and there, of course, is the ladder going into the adult loft. And maybe I could pop up here and show you a better shot of the shelves. Again, there's the heater. So, as always, appreciate you guys watching. This house again is called the Orion House. It's an 8x30 road legal. And if you have any questions about this house, any of the others we've done, or custom build, please feel free to text or call me anytime at 870-213-5310 or you send me an email at ozarksbest at yahoo.com. Thanks for watching guys. We appreciate the support.